if you're new to fasting or maybe you've tried it before but you're struggling to see results, honestly, I'm not surprised. There is so much mixed information trying to sell you something. Fasting Tube is independent and focusing on real information. Let's get started with today's video. The question, why am I gradually having difficulty breathing while fasting? As many posts have already mentioned, you should consult a medical professional. I will try to add some perspective on what might be happening even though you weren't clear of what exactly you are experiencing. Your dehydration can be a repossible for an increased feeling of stress and causes your heart to work harder. Another thing to consider is that you get a significant amount of water from the food you eat. Obviously, during fasting, you're not getting any food. This can add to dehydration especially if you're in a hot climate or work out frequently. Another issue, related to dehydration, is electrolyte imbalance. Electrolytes are a fancy name for the dissolved minerals in your blood that help regulate a number of different functions in your body. Sodium, potassium, chloride, magnesium, and calcium are all electrolytes. If any of them get out of balance, then you can experience symptoms. Hyponatremia is an example of that. Hypo means low and natremia means sodium. Low sodium levels can lead to headaches, dizziness, and even death if taken to an extreme. There are athletes who die every year from tis usually from drinking way too much water. But there are also hyper or hypokalemia, hyper or hyocalcemia, and more. They can all cause symptoms. The reason I mention the electrolytes see that many people who fast also do low carb which can cause an increase in the amount of sodium you have in your body. This is called the natriuresis of fasting and it's well documented. An electrolyte test administered by a medical professional would be able to tell if your electrolytes were out of balance. You didn't mention anxiety, but a low carbohydrate diet can cause anxiety in some people which can lead to breath fine symptoms. The reason is that serotonin gets lower with carbohydrate ingestion because tryptophan is found in high amounts in carbohydrate rich foods. Tryptophan is the amino acid precursor to the neurotransmitter serotonin. Serotonin helps you feel good and keeps anxiety levels low. In fact, many serotonin reuptake inhibitors, drugs that increase serotonin levels, are prescribed for anxiety. I know because that's what was prescribed to me, it could be a number of things. I've offered a few possible explanations. But hopefully you went to a medical professional to determine what the issue was. In the future, know that messing around with your diet can have uncomfortable and even potentially dangerous side effects if you don't know what you're doing. Hope that helps. 